Hello friends, good evening. This is Bhupati. This is part 16 link video. In the last video, we saw what is variable type and when to use the synonymous type and writing link using C sharp code in invoke code activity. And in this video, we are going to overview the same query in different way. Now, uh, I'll open the studio. Uh, this is our invoice data. We are trying to group this department and sum the total amount corresponding to each department. We have here four departments, delivery, IT, production department and service department. And we are trying to group each department and want to sum the amount. Let us see the query we used in the last session. This is a link query we used in the last session. So here we used two data operators we used this data operator to collect the result of this query into a, this variable sum value this is just to increase the readability and also we are collecting array of objects to this variable and finally we used this variable input array object while adding data rows if you are good means even you can skip this and you can directly add the value while adding the data row new array of objects so when we use array of objects certainly we need to use the value this the first value is key what is our key here department is our key now add the department comma next value is we need to find the sum of the amount for each department uh, this is our group variable we are going to apply extension method sum over this variable now we use function yes and convert double amount is the data table column name okay we are done <coughs> let us see any syntax error comes ok no syntax error hope you are familiar with this query now in the first line it is like for each row this range variable is like collection of rows from this data table ok it can be anything you can write it as rows if you change here here also you need to change rows and then here also now also it will work now we will run and check it out we will get the same result okay excel sheet is opened let me close and rerun okay close okay okay it is the same result we got in the last session let me open the excel invoice data So here department we just check one department so delivery department this 12,500 okay thank you friends if you like this video please subscribe and support our channel thank you